Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Orbital Morkup video. It was a 67, and, well, you can see I can unlock the Fractal Engine. I have done a little bit off-camera. I've gotten this upgrade, and then this upgrade also spawned, so I got that as well. It's not really all that interesting, and I think I'm just going to get right into this. Unlock the Fractal Engine. Three, two, one, go. So it's a whole new mechanic, that's the thing. And by Fractal Engine level 1, I guess I just keep buying these it gives me automation charge increment what the is this this is literally this, this is oh my god if i said there was inflation last episode this is a way crazier because you don't know if you don't know what this notation means what this means is it's okay 10 double arrow 30 the double arrow means it's 10 to the power of 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 10 this number of times or like the, the number here i'm trying to select it but okay it's it's this 43 right there so this means that every second it's the tetronant is increasing by one which means that i would have e e e e e e, e with this many e's one increment yeah you can see how op that could be so i guess i just keep buying these because this will yeah, you can see this. I'm now up to a giggle, which is 10 tetri to 2, 100 increment. Yeah, this is actually to the point of numbers getting bigger numbers. And it, seems, it says the fractal engine is getting slower after 140 copies. Okay, that's probably not um, all that big. And this is now up to epsilon omega squared. I'm guessing this probably has to do with um, it being tetrated. Because I, I think it would have just been like epsilon sub omega plus two, and then that would just would stack, and you get then you get the true epsilon sub omega times two. But that would just keep keep doing that, and it would just keep stacking until I get this ordinal. So yeah, I can see that I don't really need to do much in in this. I I guess I just should try. I should see what there is. So yeah, my singularity level is also as big as my incrementing. And is there anything, what about incrementing verse upgrades? I need 10 tetri to 1,000, 10 or 10,000 incrementi to unlock fractal shifts. And yeah, you can just, you, you really, these numbers are so much bigger than, than you think. I mean, you may think that it's, oh, it's, it's, I mean, it's big, but not, no. It's like, seriously, a power tower of tens. That's another way to think about it. I'll be referring to 10 and 2 in brackets as tetrator from now on. For the 3 in brackets, I'll refer to it as pentated, which is repeated tetration. We'll, we'll get to that. And then, yeah, also these numbers are equivalent to the um, last stage of the unscaled incremental. Like, that's how big the numbers get in that game. And, yeah, I guess there is this upgrade. I don't know why this is all that good because it says you can only buy at max one function upgrade per row but maybe it unlocks new stuff that's probably what it does yeah oh it's probably just uh, i'm really not sure but i can get this each fractal shift that gives no energy or gives plus 150 percent production i don't have any fractal shifts though i need to get a fractal shift to be able to do this which means i do need to wait because however ridiculously fast my incrementing is growing, the amount of incrementing I need to get these upgrades is so large that <laughs> it's it's ridiculous. So, yeah, seen a bit. Okay, I'm back several hours later, and I can unlock fractal shifts. So I guess I'm just going to do that, because, yeah, um, perform a fractal shift and gain the following. Plus one automation engine, minus one Fractal engine base, I don't know what that means. And plus one energy orb, fractal engine costs go up. I probably want to do this. Um, is this good? What is my incrementy? Is my incrementy? Um, it's lower. Hmm, but I can... Hmm. So this, like, resets everything. Interesting. So it's a, it's a prestige of the incrementy verse. I didn't realize that's a thing. There's also, I have one energy orb at 100% effectiveness, providing a 2.5 times multiplier. And there's this. 
Um, I'm not exactly sure what this means. Um, or it's energy boost or it's boost incrementing auto buyers, and there's a penalty. Um, I probably want something like this. I'm pr I'm guessing I just need to go back to where I no not even this. Just do this, and then get um probably just want to get the yeah this unfortunately i don't think there's any faster way than just doing this all over again and also the space is fractal dimension is 99,999 okay there's more there's more stuff than i actually thought there was i did not realize that i I was thinking that next episode could literally be the last episode, but with this, yeah, there's still a ways to go. I think I just need to get to the E30,000 incrementing first, or maybe I'll just have enough functions to do something. I think this really will help. Okay, now I can at least get this upgrade. Hopefully this will do something, and um, this doesn't even cost, this, for whatever reason, it didn't even cost any functions. This one does. Is that, that must be some sort of a bug. It makes no sense how that works, but I guess that's good. Maybe I can even try to get this because, yeah, like this, I'm still I can still just buy these upgrades, and now now it's considerably faster. And I'm just trying to push to E thirty thousand incrementing so I can get the one fractal engine, and hopefully I feel like that's gonna start tetrating my incrementing again, and then. I can essentially just get back to where I was before. Hopefully this grind won't take too long in the future. Because um, it would be really annoying if for every fractal shift I have to do this for like five minutes, five or so minutes. Well, actually, okay, I, I need to now... You can see this is now caught up. So that means I have to go back into the singularity functions and just not get this upgrade which means yes it's gonna be slower and I just have to deal with that also I said this is a bug but no it's not it just says need 600 functions instead of cost 600 functions I can't believe I didn't notice that two episodes earlier I just thought oh it's 600 singularity functions so it costs that much no it doesn't even cost anything to get it just needs 600 which is kind of an arbitrary wall but whatever we're finally closing in on E30,000 incrementing, which means I'm going to finally be able to get this. And, okay, it's not quite tetrating yet. Okay, no, now it's starting to tetrate. Now I can just do whatever I want because, yeah, it's now tetrating my incrementing. And you can see now there is a level 2 fractal engine. And this costs 10 tetrated to 100,000 incrementi. Yeah, that's quite a lot. And I, I think what I... I'm not even sure if it's worth it to do this, but I, I kind of want to get all these upgrades. I have no idea if this does anything, but hopefully this is at least going to do something. I, I don't even think it did anything. I think I just have to keep getting this, and is there anything I can do to actually speed anything up? There is energy boosts, boosts odd fractal engines. Probably want to boost this and then turn this off and I'll get something here. It's going to be very slow, but at least it's going to do something. Like, is this going up at all? Yes, it is. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not clicking on anything. So at least this is something. Really all it is is um, a... <laughs> it's a up to two and a half times boost on this which really isn't all that much and like the thing is that with this singularity functions I need five fractal shifts to get this so I'm nowhere away nowhere close and then this like well, I'm it's gonna do that that'll be decent but then this fractal shift requires 10 pentated to 1000 incrementi and this means I need to have 10 tetrated to 10, tetrated to 10, tetrated, and there's 1,000 tens. Yeah, we're nowhere close to that. So I think what I'm just going to do again is I'm going to wait to get to this, and then hopefully this will 
be maybe it'll it'll start instantly pentating my incrementing because that's maybe, maybe I I have no idea but it may do something like that so yeah seen a bit okay so it's been an hour or so and yeah I can get fractal engine level two there's no reason to wait let's see what this is even gonna do uh, oh yeah of course I I need to actually give it enough automation charge so it reaches a hundred here and now what is it gonna do is it gonna let's see let's see what is I knew it it's it's pentating my incrementy it is literally pentating my what I can do actually yeah I want to um I want to get the even fractal engines rather than the odd ones because well yeah pentation you know if you don't know what this means this means 10 to, I, I've already explained it but just watch numbers getting bigger because now we're at episode four of numbers getting bigger. That's how that's how big these numbers are, and I probably want to just keep getting more of these so I can just get this as high as possible, so I can try to reach ten pentated to one thousand incrementing to get another fractal shift. I feel like that's what I should do. This ordinal is still the same for some reason. I would have thought that the ordinal would be bigger at this point, but whatever. There's nothing I can even do in singularity functions. This is 10 hexated to 100, which, well, that's repeated pentation. So, yeah, this is kind of unsatisfying for how big the numbers are. I, I would have liked to see the number after the, um, the tetration to become exponential and double exponential and then tetrated to the point where I can actually you know get to this pentation that I currently have here and you can see the fractal engine level 2 it's buying the fractal engine level 1 and you can see this number is one below that number I think that's how it works and that's a, how I can get so much incrementy um, the next fractal shift I'm not exactly sure I feel like, well, if it's going to give me another automation engine or fractal engine level 2, does that mean I'm going to get hexation already? And, um, I'm not really sure what it's going to be like, but that will be for next episode. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out.